Hi, Leila from Merlot. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be plying the singles that we spun out of the Rambouillet fleece. Before I get to that though, I would like to really thank the subscribers we've been gaining to our channel. It really means a lot to us, so thank you so very much. Um, I'm sitting at the Ashford traditional spinning wheel and We'll go through how I have it set up and how I'm going to do the plying and what works for me. And hopefully that will help any of the beginners out there that are struggling just a little bit with the plying. So let me get everything set up here and we'll be ready to go. I've got the spinning wheel set up with a jumbo flyer. When it comes to knitting, I want a good amount of yardage in my yarn by using the jumbo flyer then I can get more onto the spool therefore I can get more yardage onto a ball of yarn which means fewer ends to weave in. The Lazy Kate is set up and we're doing a two ply. I like both bobbins to be set up exactly the same. So either both coming from the top or to from the bottom, but I never set up one where it's coming off at the top of one and the bottom of the other. I find for me, I get a better final product if they're set up exactly the same. When it comes to setting the tension on the jumbo flyer, I like a lot of tension. I find it helps me keep a fairly consistent yarn, one where it's wrapped fairly evenly against each other and it also helps with the pigtails, which we'll go over. So I like lots of tension. As the bobbin fills, you will need to increase the tension to keep that same amount of tension as you go. The singles, when I spun them, I did it on a regular flyer and it was done at a 10 to one ratio. I've got my flyer set up. So we're using the smallest whirl on this particular one. So that's gonna give me about a nine and a half uh, to one ratio. So we're pretty darn close to what they were spun at. And then you just adjust by treadling a little bit more to get that consistency that you're looking for. So I'm just gonna put my ends through the leader, double it back. I find that I tend to be most comfortable when I've got the yarn held to my side and that also helps me to keep track of how many twists I'm putting in based on the treadles I'm doing. And so if I always have my hand in the same spot, I'm going to get a consistent length for the treadles that I'm doing. So that'll help with the consistency. So I like to typically have my Lazy Kate set up so it's a 90 degree angle from where my hand is. And I find for me that helps, for some people it doesn't matter. Another thing that I will mention is you're probably not going to want to ply yarn that you just finished doing the single on. If they can sit on those spools for a couple of days, they seem to lose that energy where they want to ply against each other and you're fighting with it. Leave them sit for a few days. These have been sitting for weeks, so they should be relatively easy for us to ply. We were spinning clockwise we're going to go counterclockwise on the ply. So we're just gonna get set up here and I'll stick my finger in between it just to get started here. Now, this is where I will count. So I'll count the treadles. One, two, three, four, release on five. One, two, three, four, release on five. And then what I do is I'm going to pulse it off to the side. 
and I let it fall over the end. When it falls nicely to the side, not twisting this way or that way, that tells you the treadle count is probably correct to get a balanced yarn. And I will periodically check that, but as long as you've stayed at the same distance and your hand is in the same spot, then keeping the, that treadle count should get you a fairly balanced yarn. So once you've got where you know how many treadles you're gonna need to do to have your yarn fall nicely off to the side, then it's a case of, you know, keeping your tension up. And when I said I like a lot of tension, it helps to kind of pull back so that I can pull back evenly on both of the singles. Now, what happens if I didn't? Well, then you're gonna end up with a yarn where one's spiraling over the other. So keeping tension on both equal will help eliminate that issue. And you kind of can get rid of it by sticking your finger in there, pulling it back and then letting it retwist. Uh, the other thing to watch for, and this is why you want the tension and because I took the tension off, I need to add more on. Another reason the tension helps is so that you don't get pigtails. Now, what is a pigtail? Well, a pigtail is if the yarn plies against itself and then you happen to catch it. We got a little pigtail there. And then we've got an inconsistent, almost art-like yarn. You'll get into a rhythm and it'll just become second nature. Um, over time, you're probably gonna have a good sense on how many treadles it's going to take to get a balanced yarn for yourself. The key is practice. Until next time, thank you for joining me. This is Leala from Merlot.